Yes, that was the other. That's good. That was the one of the other two things I absolutely want to talk about. I'll do that first, as you mentioned. How do you deal with the amount the consumer would be willing to spend to fight this tax? And once again, compensating variation is old utility, new prices. The other concept I dealt with last week a little bit was equivalent variation, which is the opposite. It's new utility and old prices. So how would I... Let me show the tax again. How would I explain how much would someone be willing to pay to avoid this tax? Before the tax turn, you can compare one. Budget line one. To point C, indifference curve two. What does avoid the tax mean? Avoid the tax means keeping with the old prices before the tax. Avoiding the tax means keeping to the old budget, this one. So old prices means avoiding the tax the original budget line, and how much would you spend to avoid the tax up to the lower or lesser utility level, which is indifference curve 2. You would spend up to this indifference curve. If somehow you could spend money, some kind of bribe or bid, or money to a lobbyist, if you could give a sufficient amount of money, and there's of course no certainty, you're not certain this. You give the money, you're sure you avoid the tax. But how do you give money? You take the old prices, the budget line, and you bring it down. Giving money. Certainly I can give this much money right there. If I gave this much money away, from here to here, if you gave, say, just give it a number, $3,000 away in order to avoid the tax, and then, sure enough, you avoided the tax, you can see how it would be easy for someone to reach a higher difference curve than in difference curve 2. You could reach in difference curve 3. So you'd certainly spend that much money. <clears throat> Once again, this is a great simplification. These We're talking, if you give this, you avoid the tax. And so there's no uncertainty in it at all. And so if you, if you give $3,000 to your lobbies and know 100% you would avoid this tax, you would certainly do it because you'd be on this budget line with the old prices easily at a higher indifference curve or happiest level than if you had to face the tax. If you do face the tax, you're going to be stuck all the way to C. Well, I need to come further. I need to go all the way until the old prices just meet the new utility level. That's called the equivalent variation. You'll spend up to that amount to avoid the tax. So I need to go further. I need to keep coming, bringing this red line down all the way until it becomes tangent to the new utility or indifference curve, right? About there is where it would become tangent. So, but more importantly, so I would spend up to here to there. This, from there to there, that's the equivalent variation, and that's how much money I'd spend to avoid this tax. Sorry. Well, the old budget line, what defines the old budget line is the set of prices before there ever was a tax on the good. In this case, big boats or cigarettes or gasoline. <coughs> the old budget line was the budget line you faced before there was a tax. And so avoiding the tax would mean you get to keep the old budget line. But in exchange for the old budget line, how much money, you'd have to spend some money. How much money would you want to spend? to avoid ending up at point C, which is where you're at if you suffer the tax, suffer the, have to pay the tax. And so theoretically, you'd be willing to spend up to the equivalent variation, which is the right where the amount of money you give up to just get to the new utility level. Why would you be willing to spend up to the, um, 
the, uh, the variation thing? Yeah, because wouldn't that make you worse off? No, it would make you exactly equal. It, is, it, it would make you sort of exactly indifferent between the two options. The one option would be face the tax and end up at point C. The other option would be keep the old prices, spend enough to avoid the tax, and end up at point D. Both points are on the same indifference curve. And so you'd be indifferent between these two points, point C and D. You'd be indifferent between spending the entire pool of variation to avoid the tax or get the tax put on you by the government. So that's why I say spend up to that amount. And if you spent the entire amount of the pool of variation, then you'd end up being no better off and no worse off than with the tax. So if I were ever going to calculate it, which I'm never going to do, but if I wanted to calculate the equivalent variation, there isn't just one number, right? It's, I would spend up to this amount of money, yes. but it could be far for every less. every tax and every situation for each person, it would actually be different. Okay. Yeah. It, okay. And if you actually sort of want this, you know, any level of sort of realism policy-wise with that example, with the tax and rebates, they are done occasionally, can be done, tax and rebate. And understand that giving a little more than that it's enough to make a person as lawful as they were before. No, I mean, give any reasonable this to, to this, you need sort of, you know, an entire level of, you know, likelihood and risk analysis thrown in, possibility of having this tax avoided or not. And then you have to sort of get some guess at sort of how much people or companies, depending on the tax be, are affected. And people have tried to sort of research this and sort of try to see, you know, is there an element